Hello. Okay. It, even if it's me. Hi everyone, welcome to our full moon celebration with music, meditation and Kabbalah teachings. We're so happy to have you all here and um, this is a very auspicious time when the moon shines as full as, and brightly as it can. It's a symbol of ourselves and our hearts shining as brightly as it possibly can. So let's all enjoy our um, meditation together with this, with this uh, brightness of spirit. And we're going to start with our first chant. The words are Kol Haneshama Tehalel Ya, I think. Yes, that's right. And uh, this is from Psalm 150. Um, a lot of the verses that we're going to be chanting are from Torah and from um, the Tanakh or from uh, prayers. And so you'll, you'll recognize some of them and other ones you might even want to go and look up afterwards. Um, but th this is a really a practice of meditation through chanting. And one of the key things that the Kabbalists talked about is that we need to have kavana or intention. And kavana is a feeling that we take these words of each verse that we're looking at and we make it our own. And so you'll find that every time you meditate upon or chant 
these words, you might find a slightly different meaning that's relevant for you on that day. So connect with these words today. Let everything that has breath praise the source of all. Hallelujah. And we're going to take this especially into a breath meditation. And so we're going to chant. Then we'll um, continue our meditation with breath meditation and then come out of it with the chant. So I invite you to really connect with your breath be present, bring all the levels of your soul as well of your, as your body into this space as we chant Kol Haneshama to Hallelujah. With Max and Shannon from Havaya. Kol Haneshama te Letting your neshama, your soul, be uplifted by your neshima, your breath. Connecting with the movements of your abdomen. Inhale, your abdomen expands a little. 
when you exhale your abdomen relaxes down cycle of your breath your neshima as a gateway to your neshama to your soul your breath as your friend Just that simplicity of being, your breath and your connection with all the breathing, living beings on this planet, your breath and the animals and plants. We're all breathing together. all making this beautiful harmony and beat with the rhythm of our breaths every human all animals all plants call hanishama to hallelujah let's chat together Shama te hallelujah, 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 kol haneshama te because compassion and oneness is everlasting it's said by the Kabbalists that chesed the quality of compassion is the quality that is um, the, the strongest in the whole universe it's the first principle that came out um, part of the 13 midot of rachamim, the, the um, aspects of mercy. 
And so as we connect with that feeling of compassion, we also connect with our gratitude for all the compassionate things that people have done for us in the world, in our whole life. And I want to just um, open it up to everyone. We're on Facebook all together, and it's a great platform to see little comments from everybody. So I want to invite you to say um, your where you're from, like Diana from Argentina, and what you're grateful for today. And let's inspire each other. So Herbert and Kathleen glad to be doing this and they're they're um, hailing from the USA what else are you grateful for and you know it's amazing but when you share these things that you're grateful for it uh, really inspires each of us to remember what we're grateful for it's one of those things that are quite contagious so type in the chat box if you if you'd like to so Kim from Bondi welcome compassion endures forever so one of the meditative techniques that we've got that are connected to chesed is this idea that um, when we're sealing our meditation we uh, we put the left hand which is all about strict judgment and we're just on our heart um, in the middle of the chest and rain so have from the usa grateful for her grandson so we put the left hand on the heart and then the right hand over the left because the right symbolizes chesed and Ginny, grateful for the blessing of children yes from cleveland so I want to just um, just uh, empower you to use this hand gesture where you have um, the right hand over the left over your heart whenever you like at meditation and it's just connect with it and see how amazing it feels. And uh, so who have we got also? We've got people from Victoria who are saying they're grateful for a sunny day. That was Leah and Tessa, our beautiful environment, and she's in Australia. Bronwyn in Hornsby, Australia, grateful to see people joining in from around the world. So we've got North America, South America, Australia, and uh, all a few different states in Australia. And let's connect as we chant with that network of good vibes all around the planet that we all actually even though we're not physically together we're we're together in spirit and uh, connected virtually so let's all connect with these beautiful words uh, while we meditate on gratitude
time that someone has shown you compassion. Yeah, if you want, you can do this hand gesture, connecting with your heart. That, that idea that may our compassion always be stronger than our judgment. May our compassion inform our judgment so that we give people the benefit of the doubt, so that we're kind to ourselves even when we miss the mark, knowing that we can make up for things. Inspired by these words, Hodula Adonai Kitov, Think about something that we can that we're grateful for. In your meditation, you might see it as an image, you might feel it as a feeling, or a phrase might come to you. something else you're grateful for or someone else you're grateful for. Now something in nature that you're grateful for. when you're grateful. How does it make you feel inside? back to our chant, either receiving it in your meditation or chanting it on.
קיצו, כי לעולם חסון. אדוני קיצו, Gently coming back and the next chant we're going to do is Shema Yisrael and we're going to stick with word number one Shema for the moment and uh, so I invite um, I invite uh, Max to put up the Shin Mem Aleph so of course um, the word Shema means hear or listen, and it's the beginning of that verse of the most famous prayer in Judaism, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord our one, which can also be translated as listen, listen all you God wrestlers, all you people who struggle with the big questions. Find God within oneness. Find holiness in your life when you find harmony. And uh, we, in the Talmud, there's this uh, way of commenting. You're doing a commentary on different Torah verses where the Aleph and the Ayin, the letter Aleph and the letter Ayin can be changed. And so that's what we're doing here. We're going to look at these letters, Shin, Aleph, and Mem, Hebrew letters. And they are called the three mother letters in Sefer Yitzirah, which is the book of creation, a Kabbalistic anonymous text that was written sometime between the second and the sixth centuries. So it's one of the earliest Jewish mystical texts and it talks about all the different letters and their energies and how each letter brings a different sound and a different energy into the creation. And uh, the shin, as you can see, is um, has the sound shh. The aleph has no sound of its own and it connects with the vowels that it's given in a particular word and then the mem has a m sound so let's put up a beautiful stylistic way of looking at these three mother letters where um, we we travel to Tzfat in the Galilee and David Friedman's art, which is also behind me on the wall. And I invite you to check out David Friedman's art. It's really beautiful, full of Kabbalistic meaning. So this one, as you can see, we've got the letter Shin at the top. And we're going to translate this into a meditation. So the letter Shin is traditionally connected to the element of fire. And one of the key words that have the shin in it are esh, which means fire in Hebrew, esh. So it's red, it's uh, connected to the element of fire, the letter shin, and in our body, to the head. And then we have 
at the bottom the letter mem which has the m sound and it's connected to the hebrew word mayim water and in our body connected to the belly and the pelvis and it's of course connected to the sound m mm. and then in the middle in the yellow we have the aleph and the letter aleph has no sound of its own it's connected to the breath and to air and to the hebrew word avir so we have shin at the top connected to the head and to fire aleph no sound but connected to pure breath and then the mem so the aleph is seen as a connector between the shin and the mem in our meditation in the middle of our chant on the shema we are going to as we exhale we'll connect with the sh we'll actually be making that sh sound as we exhale for a few breaths and we'll be connected to the fire element and to the head then we'll do the al aleph which will be a silent exhale and inhale we'll be connecting to our chest and the er, er, and the air element and then we'll do the mem the mm sound as we exhale for a few breaths and we'll connect with the belly and the water element. So we'll do that um, in the middle of our chant. And uh, you'll see how it might be a technique of meditation that you'd like to follow up with in the future because making those sounds really can help with grounding ourselves in meditation and letting go of extraneous thoughts. So let's start with our beautiful chant and our beautiful musicians. So here we have, hopefully you can all see the image, the shin, aleph and the mem. But if not, 
just go along with the meditation it's okay and we start with just recognizing here so beautiful that we have the shin as a, a red red color and fiery so if you want to visualize that shin letter and the fire element connected to the head so bring your awareness to the head and with the next few exhalations each time you exhale making that shh sound Keep going with the shh sound as you exhale. Each person breathing at their own natural rhythm. Now let's connect with the Aleph. If it's available for you, visualize in your mind's eye the Aleph shape. If not, that's okay. Just go with the breath. So the Aleph for you, visualize your breath. And the Aleph with no sound of its own, just the breath. Really be aware of your chest area, your heart and your lungs, and that exhale sound of the breath. The air element. And now we transition to the belly area, awareness of your belly, the mm, mem sound, the water element, and the letter mem. And with the next few exhalations, make that mm sound as you exhale. Keep on with that mem sound, the belly and the vibration of the sound in your body.
And now let's do nine breaths where we go with each exhalation. First we do a shin with the first exhalation, silent exhale for the aleph, and then the next breath, mm, sound, we go back to the shin. So we'll do that for nine breaths. Each person breathing at your own comfortable rhythm. And now either staying in your meditation and receiving the chant or chanting along with the words Shema Yisrael, our kavana, our intention, connecting with what brings you oneness in your life, Echad. Oh, no. Nah. 
Blue moon, red planet. <clears throat> and uh, what a blue moon is the full moon today because in many parts of the world, this is the second full moon of the month. Um, not for us in Australia, because it's already the 1st of November, but for those in other parts, the full moon is, this full moon is called a blue moon. And that goes well with our meditation on the blue mem of the blue moon. And then we have right next to the moon, the red planet. The red planet is Mars and it's really close to the moon tonight, today. And you'll see it when it's nighttime, wherever you are. But um, so when the moon and Mars are close to each other, that it's a symbol of fiery emotions and also passionate emotions. So it's a good day to connect with what you're passionate for and to really get inspired about your passions. Also, moon is the closest uh, that it will be for the next two years, or it's just off that, but almost the closest that it will be to the earth so that energy of the red planet is with us and um, we take that um, energy with us into our next chant which is ve'ahavta et adonai elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha you um these are the next words of the shema prayer where we really connect with that energy of love and I know the words talk about the love of God. And there's a beautiful um, commentary by Hasidic Rebbe's that when we connect with love of God, and sometimes that is a little bit intangible, that we can connect with the holy spark within each person. And when we do that, when we connect with our love for others, for humans, but also for nature, that spark of the divine within nature, we are actually connecting with Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, divine love. And so I want to um, invite everyone as our kavana, our intention, while we chant to think about all the different aspects of love in your life. And because uh, sometimes there's this kind of focus on the love of romantic love of a partner. And uh, but there are so many different other aspects of love in our life. So I invite you to in the chat uh, room or the um, to just type in some of the types of love in your life so that we can all be inspired by you. And so as we'll be chanting, we'll just put up a few of your um, your inspirations about love. So let's chant and connect with our heart and love.
Let's all have some moment of silence and connect. Uh, Max, you're welcome to play in the background, but connect with um, with all the different types of love that we're so grateful for. And with the more inspiration, love the good food, love the learning. Love for family and friends, for work colleagues, being able to nurture friendships around the globe. Love for, love for parents, loved ones who have been passed on, but their memories stay with us. Love for our pets, for music, trees, as we get ready to transition out of our session together, we um just let's open to inspiration for this full moon and the inspiration that we've received from all the chanting that we've done. What is your higher self or your deepest self saying to you today? What's the special message? We'll just have a, a few moments of silence and then we'll come to Ose Shalom to finish up.
shalom bin Roma. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and blessings for beautiful new moon, full moon energy. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. And um, with Havaya, the um, amazing musicians and spiritual vibes that they bring, and you can follow them on Facebook. And um, they have a few other uh, great initiatives happening, like a pagoda online. And um, and then also Neshama Life, uh, we look forward to seeing you for regular Jewish meditation and Kabbalah text study classes. Sometimes we do Jewish yoga or, um, uh, or Tai Chi. And so we've got lots of different aspects to Kabbalah learning. And we hope that you can join us again soon. Keep in touch and beautiful full moon energy to everybody. Shalom Alechem.